The protagonist of the movie is a professional bodybuilder named Dennis Peterson, who has won numerous accolades and trophies for his expertise. He has everything one could dream of – good looks, popularity, and money. But despite this, Dennis has never been in a relationship before. In fact, he is very shy and awkward around women. Whenever he goes near one, he blushes and runs away. Dennis is in his early 30s, but he still lives with his single mother, Ingrid, in a small town in Denmark. One day, he finally decides to go on a date with a fellow gym-goer. They meet at a restaurant and Dennis nervously opens up about his bodybuilding career. He mentions that he also works as a bouncer to earn more money. In response, the woman reveals that she owns a tanning salon near the beach, where a lot of handsome men come on a regular basis. She then tries to seduce Dennis by emphasizing her chest, however, the shy giant remains unfazed. Instead, he diverts the topic and starts talking about unrelated matters like the weather and her necklace. He even talks about what his mother made for breakfast this morning. Unfortunately, the woman loses her patience and abruptly ends the date. Upset, Dennis returns home, only to be confronted by his possessive mother, Ingrid. She angrily inquires where he had been and also chastises him for being out without her permission. Surprisingly, instead of telling her the truth, Dennis makes up a story and says that he went to the movies with his gym friends. Despite being such a heavy-built guy, he is still scared of his mother. Moreover, Ingrid's extreme possessiveness is the main reason why Dennis hasn't been able to form meaningful relationships with other women. The next day, Dennis and his mother prepare a visit to their relatives. Their strange relationship is showcased when they use the same restroom at the same time. Later, they arrive at their relative's house and are surprised to learn that Dennis's uncle, Bent, recently tied the knot with a young woman named Oi from Thailand. While Dennis feels happy for his uncle, deep inside, he becomes even more discouraged about his own love life. The following day, he comes across his previous date and tries to talk to her. However, she ignores him and simply walks past him. Later in the day, Dennis goes to his uncle Bent's place again and helps him tidy up the garden. Later, the two sit together and enjoy a few drinks. Bent, aware of his nephew's struggles and love, suggests a solution, going to Thailand. He gives Dennis travel books and talks about the country's beauty and friendly women. This intrigues Dennis a lot, so he spends the night researching Thailand online, and after gathering enough information, he decides to go on a week-long vacation. The next day, Dennis gathers his courage and approaches his former date at the gym. With a sense of validation, he bluntly tells her that she doesn't meet his preferences and that she is ugly. It's not the politest of approaches, but at least Dennis uses this chance to regain confidence. During dinner, Dennis reveals his travel plans to his mother, falsely claiming that he is headed to Germany for a bodybuilding competition. However, this deeply angers her and she walks out of the meal. Over the following days, she continues to ignore Dennis, not even bothering to bid him farewell before his flight. Dennis boards the plane and arrives in Pattaya, Thailand. As he checks into his hotel, he is taken aback when the receptionist assumes he will be bringing back escorts to his room and asks for an additional payment. Feeling embarrassed, Dennis assures her that he has no intention of engaging in such activities. Later, he meets Scott, a middle-aged American who, along with his Thai wife, runs a bar. Scott reveals that he was instrumental in introducing Bent to his wife, Oi. He then gets straight to the point and inquires about the specific physical attributes Dennis desires in a woman, focusing on breasts and bottom sizes. However, our shy protagonist says that he just wants someone of an appropriate age. Scott assures him that he will find a wonderful match and invites him to return later that night. On his way back to the hotel, Dennis stops by a boutique to order a tailor-made suit for himself. Afterwards, he attempts to call his mother but receives no answer, leaving him deeply frustrated and saddened. As night falls, Dennis excitedly receives his freshly delivered suit at the hotel and heads to Scott's bar with anticipation. Inside, he encounters older men from Western countries accompanied by young Thai women. Scott introduces Dennis to Hat, 
a lively woman who engages with him right away. She admires his muscles and playfully asks him to show her a glimpse. Though the request is straightforward, Dennis, who has always been an introvert, becomes nervous and leaves for the bathroom. But to his surprise, Hat follows him there and performs a clean and jerk to impress the bodybuilder. And it works. At this point, Dennis cannot hold his feelings any longer, so he eventually agrees to hook up. He takes Hat to his hotel room, but as he is about to take off his clothes, she asks for her payment. Hearing this, it finally dawns on Dennis that the woman is just an escort. So, making an excuse about an upset stomach, he refuses her offer and sends her out of his room. The following day, as Dennis is exploring the city alone, he stumbles upon a gym and decides to do some lifting. While he is at it, one of the gym trainers named Prap recognizes him from a magazine and compliments his impressive back muscles. This makes Dennis happy as it is the first time he has been complimented in months. Prap then invites him for dinner that night, but Dennis politely declines and decides to return to Scott's bar for another round. At the bar, Scott introduces Dennis to yet another woman who shows a keen interest in him. However, Dennis feels uncomfortable once again and decides to leave. After this, he decides to accept Prep's invitation for dinner. Once there, he sees a woman, Toy, the owner of the gym that he met earlier. They strike up a conversation and instantly bond and become friends. Toy reveals that she took over the gym after her husband's passing five years ago. When Dennis shares that he has never been married, Toy assures him that he is a kind person who will eventually find love. In the days that follow, the two form a strong bond of friendship. Toy takes him on city tours and even teaches him how to ride a bike. On one occasion, at the beach, Dennis tries to kiss Toy, but she pulls back. Feeling embarrassed, Dennis apologizes and leaves. However, his bike won't start, and Toy kindly offers him a ride back to his hotel. As they part ways, Toy reveals that she held back earlier due to cultural norms, but she invites Dennis to her home for dinner. It's there that their passion ignites and they end up sharing a kiss. This is the first time Dennis has ever kissed a woman. Toy then changes into lingerie, expressing her desire to do two-person push-ups with him. However, Dennis's shyness resurfaces, causing him to abruptly leave. But when he steps outside, he realizes that his connection with Toy is something special. He has never felt this sensation before with anyone else, indicating that he is in love. So without wasting any time, Dennis returns to the room and sincerely confesses his deep feelings for her. To his delight, Toy says that she loves him as well. They then embrace each other lovingly and spend the night without making love. With newfound hope for the future, Dennis returns to Denmark, where his mother welcomes him happily. She notices the tan on his body and inquires about it, but Dennis fabricates a story claiming he visited a tanning salon in Germany. After unpacking, he embarks on a search for a new apartment and eventually finds a good one in the city. After this, he finally summons the courage to have an honest conversation with his mother. Dennis reveals that he actually went to Thailand on Uncle Ben's advice, he also discloses his relationship with Toy and apologizes for his previous lies. Unfortunately, this revelation infuriates Ingrid, leading her to kick him out of the house. But the very next day, she calls him back and sits down for a serious conversation. She questions if he has been intimate with Toy, but Dennis firmly tells her it's not her concern. Ingrid accuses him of engaging in inappropriate behavior, referring to it as disgusting. She yells, expressing how hurt she is by his lies. However, she agrees to forgive him under the condition that he ends his relationship with Toy. Dennis reluctantly agrees, but secretly makes arrangements for Toy to come to Denmark permanently. In the next scene, he picks her up at the airport and takes her straight to the rented apartment. Toy is a bit perplexed as she was under the impression that Dennis lived with his mother. However, he quickly changes the topic, saying that it's only a temporary solution. Later, when it starts getting dark, Dennis comes up with yet another lie. He explains that his mother has unfortunately been hospitalized with a heart condition, and so he will have to be with her. 
Dennis also asserts that he cannot introduce Toy to his mom just yet, as her heart is really frail and weak right now. The next day, Dennis takes Toy to a shopping mall to get some new clothes. To his horror, he spots his mother in the distance. Anxious to avoid any complications, Dennis attempts to leave with Toy, but Ingrid notices them. As she approaches near, Dennis nervously introduces Toy as Ben's sister-in-law from Thailand. This momentarily eases the tension, but things quickly change when Toy asks Ingrid about her well-being. The latter is confused by the question and she asks Dennis about it. When he doesn't reply, she starts screaming at the top of her lungs, demanding an explanation from him. However, Dennis completely ignores her and walks away from there. As the couple reach their car, Toy becomes suspicious and asks Dennis if he is hiding something from her. At first, the macho man declines, saying everything is fine, but when Toy keeps on pushing him, he finally reveals everything. After this, he drops her at the apartment and returns home. To his surprise, he finds his mother sitting on the table, silently, with her hand injured. When Dennis goes to his room, he finds it completely destroyed. It turns out Ingrid injured her hand while ransacking his room. The sight obviously enrages Dennis, but he stops himself from doing anything drastic. As he returns to his mother, she angrily accuses him of being like his father. And here, it is revealed that Dennis's father had numerous affairs in the past, and he left home one day abruptly. Since then, Ingrid was left to raise her son alone, and this plunged her into a state of depression. The rude and possessive woman that she is today is because of the same reason. In the present, Ingrid shouts at her son, ordering him to send Toy back to Thailand at once. However, our protagonist has finally had enough of being a mama's boy. He replies in an equally loud tone and asserts that he is not going to give up on the love of his life now. Ever since he was a kid, he was controlled and abused by his mother. But now, he will take charge of his own life. After saying all this, he gently dresses Ingrid's wounds and goes to his room to pack his belongings. The movie ends as Dennis kisses his mom one final goodbye and gets into his car. Now, he is finally going to be free from all the shackles that have slowed his life down. And that's a wrap for this movie recap. Thank you for watching.